Hey guys, and welcome to a review on this awesome external sound surround sound card. Um, it's a sound card that you can hook up to your computer. Um, this is the box, of course. I'll show you the unit in just a second. It will work with Windows. It will work with when Microsoft Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. So yeah it'll work with just about every version I'm pretty sure that's all the versions of Windows but um yeah I've already unboxed it of course but I will show you guys all inside of the box so it says turn your notebook into a 5.1 surround sound I mean entertainment system so as you can see it is USB connected and from the box this thing does look pretty doggone sleek but it does look sleek um but yeah so it comes well it did have a little thing that would actually hold the card in there sorry I got a little spit on my thing sorry but um yeah so right here you just have the support that's pretty much just like how you would contact them and what in the world you would do so it comes with this DVD of course um so you can actually set it up correctly and everything and then you have the instruction booklet. Oh, sorry. Um, it's quite big, but I will try to open it with one hand. Come on. Skills. Skills. Ah, oh, there we go. So, yeah. So, step one is you take it. You have the USB cord that comes with it. Plug it into your computer. And once you plug it into your computer, you go to setup two. And what you do is see for either Windows XP, Vista, and 7, you just put it in there, click Start, My Computer, right click to see your DVD drive icon, then Open Auto Player or, or Auto Play. Sorry, <laughs> kind of stuttered there. But um, over here, Windows 8 might look a little more complicated. Sorry about the lighting there. It might look a little more complicated, but it's actually, I think, easy, easier. Um, but yeah. So all you gotta do is install the software that might take um, um, probably up to at least 30 minutes because, um, yeah, depending on your Wi-Fi speed because you have to, well, no, not your Wi-Fi speed, just on your computer speed in general. So, yeah. Um, then you just take this and you have your remote control, of course, which already comes with a battery in it, I think. And um, you have, I'll show you guys in a minute, and here's all the cords and everything. So yeah, um, I'll show you guys the unit now. Um, as I said, you put the CD in, and um, yeah, it is about, you can get it for different prices on um, eBay. Um, that's why I'd recommend getting it, because you'll probably get the best price if you have an eBay account. So yeah. Here's the unit back here. It's very, very sleek looking. All, all, all one, there's one problem though. It, cre it likes to uh, collect dust. So yeah, you have your little volume knob here, and of course you have your surround sound jacks. See, this is a uh, stereo, and then it comes with this cord right here, so you can plug in your regular audio cord that you would just plug into a, your computer anyway. And you have your two cords right here, one center and one's the left rear and right rear and the subwoofer. And this does all the speakers together, but it's not as good as all those. So as you can see, there's got a blue LED to tell you when it's on. So yeah, and it just plugs into your um, computer. Just plugs right into your computer, as I said. And um, where's the remote? Okay, so it comes with a small little remote here. Very nice, very nice. You can control just about anything with the um, remote except for maybe if you have iTunes, you can't press play and it would play the song if you were um, selected on the song. You can't do that. But um, <coughs> instead of having to reach all the way and um, press the um, volume buttons on your computer, this will control the um, computer's volume and also the speaker's volume. So it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. And here's the power button just in case you want to power it off and your computer's still running. Uh, so you won't, don't want it to get too hot. As, as you can see, you got a mute button. Got a menu button for 
and a back button for when you're um, watching movies. This thing works works especially especially for um, CyberLink Power DVD. Um, <clears throat> very surround sound, and um, <laughs> um, as you can see, you got repeat, shuffle, and return. Um, shuffle is probably for um, iTunes, and you have this for movies as well, and um, songs and everything if you want to run through it. And it is called the Creative Sound Blaster, and and it's very very good. I love this thing. It makes it makes a big difference. And I will show you guys the complete box now. Sorry, hold on. Oh no, I didn't show you guys this though. On the side here, you have a line in. So say you want to have something else powering to your um your uh, speakers. Um, you just take it, put the line in over here as well. And uh, you also have a mic in for your microphone and you also have a headphone jack so if you wanna if you wanna listen um, with the surround sound but you don't have to have surround sound um, uh, what is it called surround sound headphones I don't think I'm not too sure but um, let me take my camera off real quick and I'll close this box back up sorry guys um, yeah so, now I'm going to show you guys the box. It is, of course, the Blaster XFI um, Surround 5.1 Pro. Got the Pro version. Um, it's got Dolby Digital um, Live. Very good. And as you can see, Cyberlink Power DVD. Very great for that. I'm watching a movie right now, actually. <laughs> well, not right now. But um, on the back, it just really tells you about all the stuff. I didn't really read about it. Just kind of opened the box, looked the instructions, installed it, and um, tried it out. <clears throat> so, which way am I supposed to read this? Okay, like this. So, like I said, if you want to have another line in, your MP3 player. If you need a micro microphone to go in, like so, and you have your headphones. So, and then you also here have here for your uh, home theater receiver. If <coughs> you want to connect your home theater to your computer, because most of your home theaters will connect to your TV anyway. So, if you wanted your computer to connect to it, you could just take this right here, um, your optical um, port, and just you could hook it up to that, and then there you go. And also, you can um, just have it as 2.1, 4.1, or 5.1 speakers. So, say, you know, I have 5.1 because I have, let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, I actually have 6 speakers, but it's still 5.1 surround sound. But, um, yeah, um, that's the top. I'll show you guys the top correctly. Sound Blaster, Creative, SBX, um... Pro Studio. Oh yeah, and also you can um, access a bunch of different features. You can make the scene sound like you're actually in a theater. You can make it sound like you're in a royal hall. You can make it sound like you're in uh, just a hall. You can <laughs> make it sound like you're pretty much in a jazz club. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty pretty. Um, sorry, I'm kind of stuttering tonight. It's kind of late. But, um, it's very, very versatile. I, I really like it. It's, it sounds good. Puts the right output to your speakers. And, yeah. So, yeah, guys, please rate, comment, I mean, <laughs> gosh. Um, yeah, guys, I think that's it. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.